Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. I just watched Ragamuffin and this was a story about Richard Mullins and um, from the very beginning you can tell he, he come well he's he was originally from Indiana which at first I really didn't know. I, I knew his songs, I knew his work, but I didn't know that he was from the Hoosier State. I didn't know he was in Bloomington. I thought, huh, well, there's another factoid. That's pretty cool. But um, <clears throat> his family life was rather dysfunctional. And he grew up on a farm, and his father was a little bit rough on him. It was revealed later throughout the film that his his dad was <clears throat> tough on him just because he wanted him to learn. And I thought, well, yeah, I guess that's one way, but there are other ways you can, you can be taught rather than to berate your kid outright. And just it seemed like kind of um, Gestapo parenting, no offense, but... Uh, he grew up playing the piano, and he said that was the only place where he really felt like he was at home. And, um, <clears throat> he, um, he became well-known through his songs, and <laughs> he just, he had, he had trouble with fundamentalism. He also had trouble with, uh, people trying to make money off of God. He just, he thought that was sacrilege, and... It was just, there was so much in this film that was very uplifting to me. He he went through so many trials and tribulations. I thought, good God. I mean, and he still remained true to his faith. And he meets this uh, one preacher later on. He, he hears this preacher's sermon about the ragamuffin gospel. And he states that ragamuffins themselves, they they know their need for God. They know that they're... Um, <clears throat> they're saved yet they are aware of their brokenness and I thought mm, yeah that's very profound and uh, I think a lot of us can relate to that and <laughs> he said you know if you come to a contemporary Christian concert it was at the very end he says if you attend one of my concerts I want you to be entertained if, if you're looking for a reconnection with God I would suggest you attend church I thought Hmm. I mean, a lot of the things that Rich said, the actual Rich said, were just really full of uh, wisdom and uh, insight beyond his years. And being a, a musician myself, I, I can relate to his spirit. And um, it, it's it's sad, a lot of the things that happened to him and, and what eventually happens to, to Rich. And the people who produced it actually... Uh, I think it was his son, but there was a, a traveling nurse, believe it or not. And this is six, six degrees of Kevin Bacon right here. Um, <laughs> Faint by inference. But, uh, so lucky me, another brush with a uh, celebrity uh, just by mere story, which is really quite spiffy. But she, her name was Keitha, and she came and she told us that she... She knew the Mullinses, and she had babysit, baby sat for their cat kids, and um, I just thought, really, uh, what? <laughs> you know, I was I was uh, flabbergasted. I couldn't. I was dumbfounded. I couldn't really think of anything to say. But it's not every day that you get a chance to talk to people who have actually known people who are famous and. I, I actually do. I it's it's a six degrees story, but it's uh, I know the cousin of Alicia Moore, so I, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna ask him next time just to write a book because he should. I mean he he gets to talk to her and a lot of people don't, but <laughs> he's got some really really awesome stories about her. But anyway, um, as far as movies are concerned, I um uh. Anyway, four stars, uh, th two thumbs up, uh, excellent film. I have company, so till next time, live long, prosper, chow, 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 chow. Be the right there!